everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, I don't know about you, but fall always means Wizard of Oz in my house. So let's get started with a project. I'm using yet another coffee can because I got a lot of them and I'm painting mine brown. I also have these half of egg, those Easter eggs. I have two of those and I painted those brown. Now I'm just sketching out really loosely with my chalk a little bit of a lion face. I do two eyes, a little triangle for a nose, circles. This isn't rocket science. Don't get crazy. It's supposed to be fun, right? Then I use some paint. I'm using black paint for the eyes and I'm just coloring in what the lines that I made, right? Then I'm using a light brown and I'm just coloring in the top of the lion's nose and now his little cheeks and then his little mouth. You, I, I can't wait for you to see this. <laughs> this is so much fun. Anyways, all right, and then I'm doing the little bottom part too, okay? And then I'm using the back of my paintbrush to do some marks on the eyes and the whisker marks. Now I'm taking that half an egg and I'm using this super fuzzy yarn and I'm, see how I'm putting it all the way around it? Now, this is what I'm, you're gonna do a ton of these. I wrap it around my fingers three times, cut it. Then I'm using jute because it ties really easily and it doesn't untie. So I'm using jute, but you could use just regular yarn. I'm tying it in the center. We're making like a pom-pom, but we're not gonna cut it up, okay? So there's that. And you'll cut off the excess of the jute, of course. Okay, you ready? Now, once everything is dry, you're gonna put some glue in the center and you're gonna build up that, it's, an, it's the upside down part of the lid, okay? So I built that up and then I put some more yarn, um, not yarn, <laughs> glue on those little egg parts and I'm gluing it on that. Oh, do you see it? <laughs> so, now I have a red bow and I'm gonna glue that on the top as well. I'm using a Sharpie and I do some whiskers and a little bit of eyebrows. And now 15, 1100 of these little pom-pom things and we're gonna glue it all around the um, dried painted coffee can, okay? You wanna frame the face though because we want it to look like a lion, right? So I just keep gluing, gluing, are you kidding me? And here's something, friends, I am so sad to say I have failed my children. They, My wee little ones still haven't seen Wizard of Oz and doing this project, I'm like, okay, well, now we have to do a Wizard of Oz night. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. Super fun. But you see how I'm just gluing, gluing, gluing all the way around. I know some of you are going to ask, how many did I do? I don't remember. <laughs> I just kept making pom-poms. I don't know, at least 20, at least 20. Um, I'm doing, again, gluing, going around this. Now, I did put some on the top. I suppose I could have left it because I guess... You know, the Cowardly Lion did have a pretty hefty brow, <laughs> but um, I, I didn't. I covered it, so that's that. Super cute, though. I'm so excited for my children to see The Wizard of Oz. I don't know about y'all, but it only used to play once a year. We, don't, we didn't have it on replay, so I'm excited for them to see it. Okay, so now on the bottom, I'm just looping some of this fuzzy yarn, and I'm gluing it. See how I looped it? I'm just doing this for the bottom in front of the face just to frame his face. But are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. Are you? Friends, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. 